Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to carry during subtraction. Now, carrying is a very important uh, part of subtraction because if you don't know how to do it properly, then your answers are going to be um, a little bit off than you would like, but it's a very important procedure in the subtraction process. So let's do an example and you'll see how this works. Now, when it comes to carrying, you, oftentimes it involves numbers that aren't be able to subtract it to, with each other right away. So if you have a situation where you have 314 minus 168. The idea here is you cannot subtract 8 from 4, so what you have to do is when it comes to carrying, you have to borrow from the next digit over if possible. So what ends up happening is 4 is going to have to borrow from the 1, the 1 is going to end up being a 0, and then when you're borrowing, you're adding 10 units. So instead of 4, it becomes 14, so that's what you're actually subtracting. So 14 minus 8, that's going to give you 6. Now, it's pretty clear that 0 cannot subtract 6, so 0 is going to have to borrow from the next digit over, which is going to be 3. So 3 is going to become a 2, and then the 0 is going to become a 10, because it borrowed 10 units from the previous digit. So 10 minus 6 is going to give you 4, and then lastly, 2 minus 1 is going to be uh, 1. So when it comes to carrying due subtraction, what you want to think about is it, it occurs when the top digit cannot subtract by the bottom digit, and it has to carry over into the next digit to be able to borrow. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an illustration on how to carry during subtraction.